Uh, this is Ryan with MMA Viking here at Penny Kansad. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Good, it's great to see you in Stockholm. Uh, and we've never talked to you, so I want to give some background for our uh, watchers and readers. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about where you're from and where you grew up? Well, uh, I was born in Iran, and, uh, and, and south of Iran, and I was in 91. 8th of uh, uh, December. Uh, we came to Sweden about 93 um, to the south of Sweden in Helsingborg. Uh, so I've been living there for like the past 18, 19 years. Um, I recently moved out of my parents' <laughs> place <Right. laughs> uh, and uh, I've been doing MMA for like three years but I started boxing in 2005. I was 13. Okay, and then today uh, you train both in Malmo, you train in yes. Copenhagen, Helsingborg. and Helsingborg. <laughs> and I train in Copenhagen at Rumble Sports and at Kaishu MMA in Helsingborg. Okay. So I go back and forth. Great, and now you're 3 and 0, and yeah. last year you had your, all of your bouts. Uh, last year you debuted and fought three times. Uh, yeah, it was an intense year. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. Well, it was like that. Um, I was going to do my last shoot fighting competition after I won the Swiss championship. And like the day before, the girl uh, called in sick. And I was like really bummed. I was like in weight and everything. And then, his, uh, and then my management called me and, and he's like, you know what, I got a pro fight for you. She's kind of good. <laughs> yeah. She's really uh, highly ranked in uh, in BJJ and everything. And I'm like, Oof. but okay, I will do it. And one week uh, ahead, I was in Amsterdam at a training camp at Mike's gym in Holland. Mm -hmm. So, so I was getting prepared over there to then uh, go to uh, to Estonia with one of my uh, former coaches, Kim Muller. So we went over there, and it was it was a big experience. It was at Raju Nine, I think. It was and they have big shows there. Yeah, right? they have big it's shows. Over five thousand people. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was really fun, and I found this girl named um, Heli Pa, and she's a really good uh, ground girl. So I was gonna make it simple for myself. I'm I'm not gonna go on the ground if like I'm not on the top. Yeah. <laughs> So I went in there pretty aggressive and um, I won after yeah. three rounds. Do you have uh, women training partners uh, like that are kind of at your level that you train with? Do you train with all guys? or? I always train with guys, but I, I actually have one girl named Anna at Rumble. She she hits harder than a guy, so, <laughs> <laughs> so she's perfect for me uh, for this fight coming up, uh, especially because the final, uh, in the Russian girl in fighting, she's pretty aggressive, and Anna back at home, she's really aggressive too. But she's even more technical, so uh, she would be great sparring for me. But um, I usually train guys, so okay. I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, this is a big fight. I think it's perfect timing. We're, we're sitting here today, and they announced that your upcoming fight in, yeah. in August at Pro FC, a, a huge card. Uh, Fedor's brothers on there. Yeah, I know. Um, I was like so yeah. happy when I heard about it. <laughs> uh, and you're, it sounds like you're the underdog in your first bout, and maybe you like you like that, but I mean, you're fighting a, a girl at a UFC level, and I know she beat Sheila yeah. Gaff, that's already in the UFC, <laughs> so Milena Dudieva. Uh, talk about accepting this fight. She's had 10 fights, you've had three. She's a, a serious veteran with. A, a ton of names under her belt. Yeah. Um, Actually, I um, I heard about her before, like two years ago. I was um, uh, offered her. Um, I was getting offered a fight with her two years ago when I was still amateur fighting, uh, shoot fighting, amateur fighting. So, so to make your debut. Yeah, against, against her okay. when she was six and zero. Oh. So I turned it down because I didn't feel that I was um, capable to. Um, uh, fight at a at a professional level two years ago, so I turned it down. Was um, doing my amateur fights and everything, and I've been watching her ever since then. I've been watching her, following her, because I said I want to I want to fight her someday. So so a couple of months ago, I was asking about her 
for my management and everything. And then we got a question if you if I want to fight her. And I was like really uh, pumped about it. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. Because I think we are perfect. We are a perfect match because we are both very tough in fighting. And um, we, we come from different backgrounds. She comes from judo, I come from boxing. That, that's a perfect fight. Yeah. So I think I've always been like the underdog in fights, but that has never like been a, a bad, uh, like a bad thing for me. I think I think that's a good thing because then people um, will get really like shocked and like proved when I win. So and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not going to Russia to lose. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. This is like a Rocky episode because you're going in her yeah. backyard, right? So I love the Rocky like movie. Two or, <laughs> two or three fans with you. Yeah, uh, but I have a, a pretty high of a, a amount of respect for her because I think uh, she. I love women that can fight well, and uh, she looks like a girl that like um, um, uh, knows what she's doing. And uh, she always puts on a show, and I think we we gotta do that great together. Great. It's, I think it's gonna be a great fight. Great. Well, uh, thanks for your time today. Ooh, I wanted to step back. Sorry, but okay. I have one missed question. I don't know how much you can talk about this, but you were known as one of the few uh, Swedish fighters that went out to Las Vegas for tough tryouts. Yeah. Can you say anything about that experience or? It was my first time in the States and uh, to see all the girls at the tryouts and everything. It was like chicks you've been following for years. You only be seeing them on TV and strike force and everything. So it was pretty, uh, it, it was a cool experience because I felt like I'm good enough to be here. Uh, and it felt really good. So uh, I could like, uh, I could see myself there. You know what I mean? But uh, because of the conf uh, confidentiality. Confident confidentiality. Confidentiality. Oh, yeah. I can't say anything. Okay, that'd so, be like a million uh, dollar. I can't statement. say anything about it. Okay. But I can say that the US experience was really good, and I was training at the Extreme uh, Couture also. So I got great help there. So. Right. And that show, uh, that was a phantom way. Season, can you? Yeah. Are you? Do you go between featherweight and bantamweight? Or yeah. Are you always? I do that. Um, because I started off when I was fighting Helen Power at my first fight, uh -huh. I was fighting at featherweight, sixty-five point seven kilos. Oh. And I've been fighting at sixty-two, and now I'm fighting at sixty-three and a half. So, in between, okay. <laughs> okay. like a catch weight or something. Great. Well, thanks for your time today. It was Thank a pleasure you. meeting with you and good luck on this bout and uh, the rest of your um, bouts the rest of this year. Yeah, and um, can I just thank my sponsors? Yeah, please. <laughs> I just want to thank my sponsors, uh, Six Deuce and the Lifetime. Um, just my coaches back at home, all the way from Sweden to Denmark to uh, Kim and Rumble Sports and Cation. Thank you. Great.